across live to Los Angeles, Mohamed Abid is Deputy Chief Mechanical Engineer for NASA's Mars 2020 project. Thank you for speaking with us here on France 24. Pleasure to be here. Congra to be here. Should I say congratulations? And by the way, uh, the, Twitter is reporting there were 53 tweets a second on Thursday <laughs> evening. It's incredible how much the whole world has been uh, watching this. Yeah, no, it, indeed, it's, it's, it's a really historic event. I mean, this is something I, every time I re, re hear the, the touchdown, remind me of the chills that I have on you know, my skins going through when that happened and when I was down in the Mitchell Control area. Uh, it's, it's, it's a historic event, uh, and I'm really excited that the whole, lot of, the whole world is watching. Uh, it's historic in many ways, and uh, I was uh, really so totally stoked to be part of it uh, and uh, contributing and, and helping and working toward the same goal where we are. So uh, very excited, very pleased. And the reality still hasn't really fully sinked in, but uh, but yes, totally stoked. Yeah, so there's there's the the technological feat of being able to land it that far away. And by the way, it's what it's 11 yep. light minutes away, so it had to be all automated. You couldn't have at the last minute changed anything. Absolutely. It's all automated. You know, we can't do anything. The, the time delay that you have that you stated 11 minutes, you know, doesn't allow it to do things. By the time it's on the surface, we have no clue whether it's really, you know, totally shattered or, or still, you know, just standing, uh, standing and firm the way, the way we design it, the way we tested it, the way we, we, we analyze it. So uh, that's the kind of nerve wracking, you know, uh, uh, as you probably, as you were probably watching the, the, the evolution or at least the, the progress of the, uh, the events as they're going, you know, we have our internal clock and monitoring and trying to see what's going on. It's like, okay, well, now it's touched down, but, you know, hopefully, and but then, uh, oh well, it's still eleven minutes away. We won't find out. So uh, it, it's uh, it, it's uh, thrilling. Um, I mean, there's a lot of work that went in to to get us to this point. Uh, and um, yeah, it's a uh, it, it's a uh, it's it's a trip. So that was Thursday, and now, well, it's yep. a regular day on the job for Perseverance. Uh, let me ask you, Mohammed Abid, what's your what's your pet your secret pet obsession? What's the thing you'd like to discover? Oh, a lot of things, actually. So, yeah, the microbial uh, life uh, existence, uh, uh, ancient one, that's really something uh, looking forward to to try to unveil some of the secret of Mars, you know, the uh, that part of life. I'm also very excited about the, you know, uh, producing oxygen on Mars. It's going to be the first time ever we're going to be producing oxygen on Mars something really needed for when we send astronauts, when we send, if you want to use it from, uh, for, for propulsion schemes or whatnot. Uh, also, the part that I'm really excited and kind of guarantee my job now, uh, my subsequent job, which is basically being able to bring back the samples, as you stated earlier, to, uh, from, from, uh, from Mars. So this is going to be the first time that we're going to look into bringing samples that are very well chosen from a specific area that we drilled into uh, to bring them back to, to Earth. And that mission is really uh, exciting, thrilling as well as thrilling as, uh, as Perseverance. Uh, you know, we're going to be sending a rover, we're going to be sending a rocket, uh, and then hopefully everything will come back, with uh, bringing back the tube home uh, safely. So uh, a lot of exciting science. The engineering is, is more than thrilling. It's, uh, you know, top notch. We have the most complicated robots on, on that we ever send in space that is hiding inside, you know, the rover. Doing all this gymnastic to be able to uh, to you know collect the sample, fill them up, tie them up, you know, and uh, hermetically seal them, and so on. And on top of that, we have a uh, uh, ingenuity, which is the the copter, which is the next star, you know, of the event that's going to steal the show or start stealing the show for the next few weeks. Uh, is uh, you know it's going to be the first time we we launch uh, a, a prop system that is going to be uh, is going to be flying in a very very thin atmosphere. Uh, so that's that's it's all the great great stuff happening, great science. It's just the beginning of a longer journey. So, uh, uh, and that's the beauty of Perseverance. It goes through multiple journeys, you know, launching, that's a huge event. The whole cruise, that's a huge event. Landing, that's, that's a thrilling, exhilarating event. Now it's, you know, riding on Mars. So. Riding on Mars. Mohamed Abid, once again, uh, congratulations. And thank you so much for speaking with us here thank on you. France 24.